हेलो वेलकम टू क्यूरियोसिटी दिस इज द मंथ ऑफ मार्च यू नो इक्नॉक्स मंथ आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू फ्रॉम सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ जम्मू हियर इन जम्मू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड दिस यू कैन सी द बैक साइड दिस इज द सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ जम्मू एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव बिल्डिंग एंड थैंक यू सो मच सी यू जम्मू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी एंड यू नो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग इन टू माई ट्रावल एंड स्टे हेयर आई एम आई एम स्पीकिंग हेयर फॉर द एन इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंटल गॉल्स यू नो एंड माई टॉक इज इन दिस आफ्टरनून सो आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टू टू टेक यू हेयर इन जम्मू फ्रॉम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम केरला लास्ट मंथ आई आई रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम ट्रिवेंड्रम राइट जी एस एफ के सो दिस एपिसोड इज एपिसोड नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री uh you know it is uh, as you know it is a monthly round up of the science related stories happened last year right so as usual starting with the et- etymology of the the month march so march is coming from martius in latin it means uh, uh mars uh, the planet mars or the god mars and the mars is basically the god of war you know so this month traditionally been the month of war uh, you know the the uh, just as the spring time right so spring started in the northern hemisphere and uh, yeah so uh, you know hibernating warfare will start that is why it is called uh, uh, march you know march is the month of war right and uh, yeah and the florigraphy the, the this month is uh, um, the month of daffodils the the beautiful flower you know narcissus the genus narcissus right and uh, yeah and this i'm really looking forward for this uh, the most uh, biggest event in this month is the uh, equinox and in this year in 2024 the the march equinox is going to happen on 20th of uh, march and as you know the, the equinox is the equal day and night and more than that in arctic uh, you know that the north pole uh, this equinox is the first and only sunrise of the year and just opposite in antarctic uh, you know the south pole will witness the first and only sunset of the year right so equinox is very special and uh, yeah the round up what really moved the world of science is last month right so it's one of the very exciting discovery or uh, rather a news ha- happened only very few days back uh, it it happened in 2027 uh, uh, i mean uh, 27th of uh, february about uh, uh, in the genome india the release of genome india by the dbt 10000 sequences have been sequenced uh from various tribal populations uh you know va- various ethnicities all around india that is amazing healthy people you know all 10000 were healthy so now we have uh the database of the indian genome so that uh you know the personalized medicine will be boosted by this uh, uh fantastic uh you know outcome of uh, this national mission and the second most important story is about the moon landing the soft lunar landing by a private firm can you believe it an, an american private firm uh, that uh, firm is known as intuitive mechanics a private company you see they lander their uh, lunar orbiter the the orbiter is known as the lunar lander is known as odysseus probe you know so that is uh, that's really interesting that happened on february 22 uh, second and this comes after 52 years you know last time america landed in the no- uh, moon right after 52 years another american mission but this time it's not even a national mission it's a private company's uh, uh, you know landing although there are reports that it has tipped over while landing but uh, it's working fine as as per the latest report okay and uh, you know the new science research board has taken into effect here in india that is uh, uh, anusanthan national research foundation that uh, foundation is now going to take over all the research happening in uh, the country national anusanthan uh, research foundation that is the name of the new uh, foundation and then a new rule has implemented in kerala that is very interesting it's called h1 rule a very uh, 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 you know very vigilant rule to combat antibiotic resistance you know so uh, basically any kind of antibiotics earlier you know the pharmacies the drug store the chemistry chemical uh, pharmacies can easily distribute right over the counter but no more in kerala now you really need a prescription for any kind of antibiotic that is going to be very interesting uh another very uh, uh, rather alarming news is that the polluted flowers 
you know the flowers exposed to the air pollution smell less sweet to the pollinator so it is actually interfering with the uh, the floristic or uh, plant reproductive cycle you see the air pollution have an impact on it that is pretty alarming story and uh, a news coming from antarctic california sized wilkes subglacial basin ice sheet is about to collapse friend that is going to be huge you know it's like a tipping point in climate change wilkins glacier you know it is actually if that glacier completely melts now it, it can happen anytime in two you know uh, two years time so if it melts what is the ramification 10 feet height by the global sea level around the world the sea level is going to increase 10 feet two years can you believe it we are that close and still we don't even speak about the climate change the looming apocalypse the existential threat the number one threat that humanity is facing not ai not nothing is only the climate change friends we most of the scientists are mum about the, the you know this uh, uh, the climate change the, the apocalypse yet to come uh, the next story is about the, the global warming uh, is at least a decade further than what we previously thought a decade further into the global warming you see uh, see already we have blown past 1.5 degrees Celsius increase the climate threshold that is also a very alarming story another story that's the seven story is fantastic story science work science is amazing a deaf boy now can here thanks to the gene therapy that is a great story so what happened is that the boy had a mutation in a gene called OTOF gene and the gene therapy could able to fix that mutation it is back into the normal state and because of the gene therapy the boy now can able to hear for first time look at the, the joy in that boy's ears and next story the success story of HPV vaccine it's coming from uh, Scotland not a single case of uh, cervical cancer in the Scottish women who received full course of the HPV vaccine 12 to 13 years old when they were 12 to 13 years old so many Scottish women got this vaccine and not a single woman developed the cervical cancer later in adulthood well HPV vaccine is available everywhere even in India right and even for male you can have this HPV human papilloma virus right it's a genital wart and other uh, sexually transmitted diseases and even cancer right that is amazing discovery uh, Elon Musk's neural link has been implanted the first device in a human being that also happened the last month last month you see first ever implantation of the neural link on a human being last month's curiosity I said that uh, the permission is all set well implantation also happened that is a uh, you know uh, it's a, uh, a, a, a cyborg isn't it a, a, a person with a, a implanted electronic implanted a gadget within the body like my mother my my, my mom he is a cyborg she is living with a pacemaker in her heart you know well 10 stories are fantastic about the vaccination should you get all the vaccine in one arm or should you get like half one arm another half in another arm that is a very interesting story alternating arms for the vaccine may boost the immunity instead of taking all in one half in one half in one that actually increases the uh, immunity that is a great uh, paper which i read recently uh, the next story is about edc that is uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals uh, in the plastics you know this channel focused this story so many times right and also in the in the cosmetics right cosmetics do contain microplastic that leach out the edc it has been tied for preterm birth risk you know preterm before the term is reached you know that the birth risk is increased that is that is an alarming story uh, next story is also related to the edc's women with pcos are more prone for suicide you see the pcos and edc are also related right edc exposed to the endocrine disrupting chemical is uh, found to be associated with the pcos now pcos increases the suicidal risk so the plastic can increase the suicidal risk let's see that is amazing right that's alarming too next story is that a roman kept poisonous narcotic seeds concealed in the bone vials the archaeological study has shown that this uh, you know this uh, extremely poisonous seeds were concealed inside the bone a very interesting way to conceal it right next story is about asteroid Bennu 
remember that Bennu uh, asteroid, the, the soil were retracted by Osiris Rex and that uh, vial got stuck up. The NASA scientists really struggled and uh, later after so many months of the trials, they could able to open it. So what they found is that it contains a plentiful amounts of water locked up in minerals like clays and are also rich in carbon, nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus. All this indicates relics of ancient ocean world. You see, ancient ocean world. Maybe our own oceans had a, a pan mitic origin. You know, so uh, uh, panspermia, right? Panspermic origin. Uh, yeah, even the life on Earth, right? So that is why they, we need to have much more uh, research on these aspects. French bulldog puppy spontaneously regrows the jaw after the surgery. A puppy regrows the jaw after the surgery first ever report that's very interesting the stem cell uh, you know it, it has a such a potent uh, you know use of the human stem cells right regenerative potentials this is nothing to do with the stem cell technology it is natural regrowth but that's amazing how and why you know all these questions are curiosity inspiring next story is Telenor Telenor is uh, you know it's a European uh, uh, mobile company they opened up the first mobile tower uh, you know in Antarctica Antarctica don't have any mobile range no mobile tower but Telenor just opened up very near to the troll troll is the Norwegian station you know that is pretty interesting right oh can you hear it it is peacock so the yeah this this is not this uh, universe is so beautiful it is right in the midst of a forest you know all around a lot of hiking ventures all around and the air that i breathe is so fresh no pollution at all it's like a heaven i really like it okay next story is that the virus like organisms obelisks discovered from human gut obelisk you know it's not even a virus maybe it's a viroid or prion discovery is coming from Harvard University very interesting even gut we don't really have any idea what kind of microbes do live in human gut you know this is called obelisk okay so coming up uh, papers published last month the first paper is about exercise women and men need exercise you might know that for men uh, you know we need 300 minutes of rigorous exercise every week how about for women women need only less than half of it only 140 minutes is sufficient for women that is what the new uh, you know uh, papers say 140 minutes is sufficient that is pretty interesting right next paper is about empathy empathy is socially transmitted socially transmitted that means it depends upon how empathetic you, the group in which you are part of behaves in situation if the group is empathetic you are becoming more empathetic if the uh, if the group doesn't have that much empathy you will also doesn't have that much empathy so it is also related with the group think isn't it that is pretty interesting next story is about adhd attention deficit hyperactive disorder may have an evolutionary advantage why we do have this uh, diseases like adhd so the new research says that adhd people cannot concentrate well right they keep on changing it so it has something to do with the resource so without diminishing the one resource completely they shift to another resource so you know that has some advantage for uh, the species in general that is pretty interesting a fresh idea right i really like it next one is about reversible non-hormonal male birth control pill you know vasogel I, I i heard this story long back not three four years back unfortunately nothing happened to that vasogel but this story is pretty interesting it's a pill it's not a gel it's a pill for male you know it is completely reversible uh, yeah so it is a, a contraceptive pill for male that is pretty interesting so basically the the uh, this uh, medicine is going to target hdac uh, you know that is a pathway it's, a, it's an enzyme it blocks that HDAC so if you block the HDAC what is going to happen is that it is apoptosis is going to happen in the spermatangia where the sperms are being produced but unfortunately you cannot simply take that pill it has to be delivered locally in the testicle and how to achieve it that is going to be a little bit tricky situation right uh, anyway exciting news next story hearing relaxing words during the sleep slows down the heart rate 
that is pretty interesting how to slow down the heart rate I mean heart rate slow down means uh, getting relaxed isn't it so not by relaxing music or something but relaxing words like calm peace you know if a person subconsciously hears this one while sleeping can relax the heart rate I really like it it's a very fresh idea next st uh, story coming from France the French study with more than 92,000 participants found that certain food addictive emulsifiers uh, yeah I, I want to name these emulsifiers so be vigilant in case you see that e471 for male men and e407 40a 7a for women so 40 uh, 471 for the men and for female it is 407 and 407a so these emulsifier the food additives may increase the risk of cancer 46 percentage so beware of it read the food label properly and in case you spot this kind of emulsifier stay away very alarming news okay and this is for the prostate cancer next story is about the ed uh, you know uh, yeah erectile dysfunction drug called viagra and now uh, the the news story says that viagra can actually lower alzheimer's disc as well that is pretty interesting right alzheimer's and uh, this uh, sildenafil uh, relationship is not yet known that is pretty interesting and uh, another uh, very interesting uh, uh, news again related to the alzheimer's is about the air pollution air pollution drastically increases alzheimer's disease risk right so beware of the air pollution so air pollution you know it it, it has uh, such an omnipotent um, you know um, consequences affecting our life every every single part of human life next story lung cancer re-emerges as the biggest global threat earlier it wasn't but now it is re-emerges the lung cancer all because of the increased air pollution so air pollution also leads to the lung cancer now lung cancer is a leading cause of death ninth story the compulsory voting can reduce political polarization so you know extreme polarization the so-called affective polarization is all uh, because of the lower turnout so only extremes go for voting the middle people are apathetic for voting even you know but if you are pushing everyone compulsory right if you do not vote the fine is going to impose on you that practice is going to reduce this affective polarization that is a pretty interesting story coming up do subscribe to our channel uh, I mean uh, Facebook page also the Young Academy of India you can uh, look it up and my our volunteers do share stories as and when it appears okay and now come going to the next part of the curiosity the observances of this month today first of March is the world seagrass day you know and also zero discrimination day third is wildlife day eighth is women's day international women's day 14th is moon Jupiter conjunction you know celestial drama isn't it the celestial dance moon and Jupiter together 20th March is an exciting remember what is there on 20th of March equinox day March equinox and also 20th March is happiness day 21st is world poetry day Novruz and day for forests Novruz is basically the equinox but this year I told you it is on 20th but UN day the Novruz day is on uh, 21st 22nd is water day world water day and 25th is the full moon of the March 30th is zero waste day yes I really love this moment zero waste to waste less friend the number one tip is to buy less that automatically leads to wasting less okay coming to the last part of the curiosity is the opportunities for the young researchers and scientists uh, yeah one of the news that I read recently a few days back is that Ramalingasamy re-entry fellowship earlier it was used to be five years now the new rules say the funding is for three years and uh, depends upon the progress they can grant they can actually increase the the funding later on right so it is it has been shortened to three years not five years that is that is the news coming up and uh, purse scheme is open now purse uh, a scheme for the uh, university to to start a big big facility right if you are a, a department uh, you can actually as a department whole department you can submit a proposal 21st March is the deadline 
if you're a young investigator embo has a lot of funding right embo that is european molecular biological organization young investigator program global core uh, the deadline is first of april icgeb has a, a phd program called Oturo falachi uh, phd fellowship program uh, the uh, the deadline is 31st of uh, this month march 31st tivas dbt postdoc fellowship call is open now tivas is uh, the world academy of sciences you know it used to be called third world academy of sciences but no more it's called the world okay 30 uh, the the deadline is 19th march and of course there are several jrf calls and uh, project position calls are uh, open uh, we uh, keep on sharing that in our facebook group and uh, yeah that's it for uh, this month's uh, episode of the curiosity i hope you like it in case you like it please do share it in your group so let others also get benefited as usual uh, my entire youtube channel is uh, uh, you know uh, there is no ads running there are no revenues associated it's just to spread uh, the good news and um, to 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 have more interest on curiosity driven basic researchers right and once again thanks to this university jammu central university of jammu for uh, inviting me here to give a talk my talk today is the title of today's talk is uh, pretty interesting the, i'm going to talk today about something called crisis in antarctica antarctica is in a crisis why i covered that in this thing right the wilkins glacier and so many other stories i am going to cover here uh, in my 20 minutes talk what is happening in antarctic all because of the uh, human uh, activities recent human activities and it's threatening the very existence of the antarctic continent anyway i again i wish you a very best in the month of uh, march and uh, i will see you again uh, in yet another exciting episode in the month of april till then goodbye